Hello, how to understand YouTube analytics. So we have been on YouTube for a year and we pay attention to our YouTube analytics to know what our viewers are interested, what videos, topics that our viewers are interested. So that allow us to know content we should include more information about. So if you are looking for uh, ways to know content that you should publish on your YouTube channel. Well, how do you understand your YouTube analytics? So let's take a look at our strategy here. And today is December 7, 2020. We have been on YouTube for exactly a year. And so that's how we did. So how to understand YouTube analytics. So first, post videos on what you are passionate about. So if you just start out and you are looking for what to create your YouTube channel about, you can make your title um, not too narrow so that you can fit a lot of information in it as a start. Or if you are taking the time to plan it exactly the way it should be, you might take too long being on the side of the road without actually taking any step. So that will mean looking for the perfect niche that will generate you a lot of revenue and and produce videos on that. Choose choose the uh, channel um, name to be that topic related and create videos just for that niche. It will be it will require a lot of uh, brainstorming on the side before you even start but if you wanted to start something and then adjust as you go that's the process that we adopted so and uh, that allow us to see what our what skills we have we share information on that our viewers wanted to learn more about that's one way to determine content you wanted to put on your YouTube channel. So post videos on what you are skilled in. Post videos on what you do. So those are options. So you can have a list of, on what you are passionate about, what you are knowledgeable on, and you know what you do on a daily basis, on a regular basis, whether it's for fun or professionally. And then post videos on what you are comfortable about sharing with others. So start broad and post daily if possible during your first year. So pay attention to your top 10 videos on YouTube analytics. So within six months, you'll notice your niche target. And while we are here, let's um, quickly Take a look at a spreadsheet that I have here and pretty much what I have done at the beginning is often because we started December 7, 2020, so often I'll look at our uh, YouTube analytics and let's see if I can... Excuse me, if I can freeze um, the top row here. Okay, so that froze more than I wanted. Okay, so, but that's, let's see. Let's try again. Okay, so
barely a month after we published our first video, uh, we have 223 views for one month. And I believe it was like 28 days the way I was recording it, at least at the beginning, because here we have less. But yeah, I, and I was. And the, the way YouTube does it, they will shift. Like, they might show you the first 28 days. So that means the next 28 days might be a day less. May not be the same starting days, pretty much what I wanted to say. So the days, it started varies. And that's pretty much uh, the recording here for the last time, I believe, in some way. Yes, the last time. And I was recording it more often at the beginning to see the views, the watch hours, and the total subscribers. So we pretty much got our first subscriber uh, in December 20th, and then two on the 27th. No, it is, this is a cumulative. I believe it's a cumulative one. So it start adding up there. So on this, we got another one on the 27th, so that make it I made it too and that's how I was recording it to see how much views we are getting on our videos but then around uh, August I stopped recording I didn't really continue with this but that's one way to track the views so and then we have another sheet top videos and here I pay attention to our top videos and Pretty much, you'll see that. Let's see if I'll be able to freeze the year as well. And I tend to record it. The first, I will have the date it was published and the title, and then we'll have subscribers. And pretty much on the row, I have the colon where the date. So, and then I will pretty much track it. And those are more uh, the views. And then I have the subscribers here. But I believe, and they were the top 10. So they were the top 10. And I see the first view. Time log. Analytics. I believe there was one that I was tracking. The let's go back to top videos again. And I was um, pretty much. I don't do it for all the videos, but the one in the top ten. And at one point, this colon was more of their rank. But it doesn't seem like that's what I've been doing here. But pretty much those are the videos that we have. So when we reach our top 10, I'll have it here. And we can take a look at our top 10 videos here. So, and let's go back to that spreadsheet again because I recall the views. The... Under the month that I have, underneath it are the views because they are organized by views. So the highest, the one with the highest view is the one on the top 10. So pretty much that's the way it works. So I use, here I have the subscriber that we reached by that time, I believe, or, or less people, the number that subscribed because of that um, post are what I put here. But then I have the views that uh where that we got on that video so we, let's take a look that's how i record those information on our spreadsheet and just by looking at the top 10 because it changes throughout the year i wanted to have you know to track them so that i know the videos that made it to the top 10 and how much views they got. So you can do a similar things as well and track your top 10 videos. So let's go back to our 
slash show. So within this month, you notice that your niche target. So how do you find your niche target for your YouTube channel? So have a spreadsheet to record your top 10 videos located in YouTube analytics. You will find that when you log into your uh, YouTube channel, the back, you will click on analytics and we to access it. So after six months, the video that remain in the top 10 is your niche topic. So your top 10 videos are the content your viewer are interested in on learning more of. You could either niche down or include more of those content. So YouTube analytics will help you find your niche targets. So in our case, after publishing our videos for months, we notice it through YouTube analytics that the content our viewers are interested in are uh, about business taxes, how to file business taxes, and we could easily have niche down to that topic, but we decide against it. So rather, rather than doing that, we include that topic in the categories to produce videos for. So we notice that videos on how to budget and track our expenses every month have few views. Therefore, we stop recording it, but continue to record how to build your full supply on budget. So it was a part of finance as well, so that we can lower our grocery bill and put our money to work. So we kept that on and we have released few cooking videos. Our cooking videos have views as well, but we have released few of those for the same reason that I do that during the day and with the kids around me, we have a lot of background noise. And with the video tools that I use to record, I, I, I don't filter the ground noise. For that reason, I recorded very few videos on our cooking style but i did i do have some videos that i recorded pretty much during winter time that i have not even posted yet so i still have few videos recorded almost a year ago that i have not posted yet but they're all uploaded on our youtube channel so that's yeah pretty much if you are trying to look for how to uh how to choose a content to record a video in. We are all um, talented in doing something and and we all have our different way of doing things and people will be eager to learn your style. So you can start by sharing information on your way of doing things you are passionate about and just pay attention to your YouTube analytics to see what, your, what type of content your viewers are drawn to. And from that point, you can decide whether you want it to niche down to a specific target or continue to be broad. Thank you so much for watching our YouTube channel. And thank you for watching our videos. Thank you for all of your comments and thank you you all that subscribe to our channel i'm afiavi ojune liberman creators of liberman consulting llc youtube channel and owners of lina soap our blog nasop.com our natural product store ninasop.com our custom apparel store liberlabel.com and our resale store liberoutlets.com. Thank you so much. Happy holidays. Stay safe.